My name is Sally Eckes. I was born in Northampton, Massachusetts, and I grew up in Hatfield. And when I was three and a half, I was diagnosed with acute lymphoblastemic leukemia, and I had about 27 months of chemotherapy. <music> The memories that I remember from when I was in treatment are mostly sensory memories. They're olfactory and emotional. If I have rubber gloves on, if I'm cleaning, or if I'm chopping hot peppers, which I like to do, um, the smell of the rubber gloves instantly brings me back to being in the hospital. And I have memories from what my parents have told me growing up over the years. Um, I think they may actually have said to us, we don't know what kind of long-term effects there are you know, kind of keep your eye out and see if something comes up. I think we're only getting to the point now where we have enough numbers of these kids that, um, that have survived 20 and 30 years where we can start doing those follow-up studies to see what kind of long-term effects there are. We weren't really given much instruction to no fault of anybody's other than it was 25 plus years ago um, of how my body might be affected from chemotherapy. And as I've gone through different challenges physically, pretty much solely around my diet and digestive issues, I've come to put pieces of the puzzle together myself. We didn't recognize it or treat it properly until she was in college because it was one of the side effects that was never talked about. Um, essentially, the probiotics, the ability to digest certain foods is wiped away with chemotherapy. There's not like a doctor's visit that stands out in my mind where they said, you have a clean bill of health, we don't ever have to see you again. It was sort of a progression of come back in a week, come back in a few weeks, come back in a few months, and then now I just go to the doctor like anyone would if I'm not feeling well. And still nobody has said, because of your chemotherapy, this is why you're having digestive issues. And you know, there's no way to know for sure, but as I've become more vo vocal about the digestive issues I've struggled with and being a, um, cancer a childhood cancer survivor, I've come to meet other people who have had similar struggles, so I'm hoping that the more I talk about it, the more that conversation can continue.